Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? I am doing awesome, freezing, crazy cold out here. And you guys are like, wow, what is that thing? This thing is a first look of the Yamaha RX50 motorcycle. Yes, not an Enduro, an actual motorcycle. So you're probably asking yourself, I haven't heard of these. Well, they, uh, they didn't make too many of them. They're right around two to 3,000 of them. And uh, they ruffled these off at the dealership when you bought a Virago. Really cool bike. Really cool engine. The engine is used on many other dirt bikes and stuff like that. It's an air-cooled two-stroke. Right there. And I have the cylinder. I got the tank. The tank's got a big dent in it. And the seat's got a rip in it. And it has the cargo tank in the back there. But I'll show you. It's a very small bore on it. This one has a broken coolant then, but other than that, it's a, uh, what do you call it there, just a small bore, 50cc, you got the covers, it's a Yamaha Special, Yamaha Special 50, RX50, um, what do you call it there, what can I tell you about it, it's got a 16 inch wheel in the back, and a 19 inch wheel in the front. Guys, take a look at these. Good look at these shocks. Look at these type right here. Same as the Kawasaki KE100. Same length of tube. It's got a support brace. It's supposed to be a plastic fender, but the fender broke off. But it's got a nice metal support right there for strength. Here, I can tip this thing up for you guys. It will fall over, so I can't hold it up for you guys. KE100 style headlight. Some pretty cool markers. This also features. A tachometer with the three lights set up. It's got disc brakes in the front. Mass cylinder is good. Needs a new window put in it, which I'll do. Um, what else can I tell you? Handlebars are a little bent. Engine, the uh, piston is completely missing out of it. And it's got a KE100 style tail light. Let me move this over here for a minute, guys. Sorry about the wind noise in the back. Look at this, guys. It's got a Kawasaki style key. Same ignition as the Kawasaki's. Same style tail light. Some marker lights. So it's got a lot of cool stuff to it. Um, it's an oil injection uh, two-stroke. And we are going to take this apart. Yes. Um, this is not going to stay like this. In fact, this front shock setup right here is actually going to go on my Kawasaki KE-102 build. So we're going to clean this whole thing up. We're going to clean up the uh, support in the middle there. And uh, this whole disc brake assembly right here is going to go onto the KE-102 build. Remember I told you I was going to do a disc brake thing? That's it, guys. This is a 6-volt system. And it's a CDI system, but it's a trigger CDI system. So it's a little different than you're used to. Um, and we are going to um, explore that on another video. Got some cool shocks. This is a first look, guys. It is way too cold and windy out here today to be doing this. So this is going to be a first look, short video. And uh, just to guys show you guys what it is and uh, how cool it is. So there's my front disc brake setup, guys. Whoa, listen to that wind, guys, huh? Woo! So this is the first look on this uh, motor and uh, on this bike. This is the Yamaha RX50. So this is going to literally be like a four and a half, five minute video. So um, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for your support. And I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do with this bike. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. Or if I do anything with it, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with it yet. Let me phrase that. Look at this. Kawasaki KE100 style lock. There's a lot of the stuff on the Yamaha that's exactly like the KE100. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have any questions or comments. By all means, please send them my way.